Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we are going to be ranking NFL wide receivers. I think this is going to be a really fun one because there's a lot of good receivers in the league and uh, it's going to be fun to see your reactions in the comments and uh, my opinions. Today, so we are going to be starting with AJ Brown and honestly I would say he is one of the best. I would say he's top five. This year he was really good in the Super Bowl and I uh, I think he... Um, I think he deserves S tier. Al Lazard, I would say C. I'm being pretty generous, to be honest. He's not very good. He's kind of bad. Packers don't really have anybody that good on their team. Amari Cooper, I would say he is A tier. He was really good in Cleveland. He's a very good player. He was really good for the Cowboys, and he was really good for the Browns this year. Over 1,000 yards. I think he had at least 10 touchdowns. Um, and he definitely deserves to be in the A tier. He was great. We've got Amon Rossi Brown. I could put him in A tier, but I'm going to put him in B tier. Very good, above average, very young receiver. Very Was amazing for the Lions this last year. Was even really good for the Lions in his rookie year. So I would say he deserves to be in B tier. Definitely, in my opinion, top 15 receiver. Maybe even top 10. I'm not sure, but... I think he's great. We've got Brandon Cooks, another B receiver. He is extremely underrated. Was on the Texans, now he's on the Cowboys, but he's been putting up consistent numbers, 1,000 yard seasons, usually at least 10 touchdowns for the, his team, whatever team he's on, because he's always on different teams, it seems like, every year. But yeah, he is very, very good. Better than he gets credit for. So yeah, he is definitely at least a B receiver. I feel like he might be A, but I'm going to give him B. CD Lamb, I would probably give him an A tier. Very similar to Amari Cooper, at least 1,000 yards. Made the Pro Bowl this year. Had over 10 touchdowns. I'm, very, I'm most likely sure he had over... Sorry about that. I'm most likely sure he had over 10 touchdowns. Uh, but yeah, he was really, really, really good this year. So yeah, I think he deserves A tier. Christian Kirk, I would give him B tier. I didn't think Christian Kirk was really that good on the Cardinals. I thought he was kind of an average receiver. But he really showed he was really good on the Jags this year. He had at least over 1,000 yards, at least like 7 touchdowns. Didn't make the Pro Bowl, but that doesn't really mean anything nowadays. Was really consistent for the Jaguars in the playoffs and in the regular season. So yeah, he at least deserves B. Maybe even A. I think these two are better, but... He at least deserves B tier. Cooper Cup. I'm going to put him in S tier. I know he didn't play that much this year. He did have, a, I think, over a 1,000 yards. He only played like half a season. And he had like seven touchdowns. He was really, really good. But obviously, he he had like 1987 yards. He had the tri the triple crown uh, leader in uh, when they won the Super Bowl, Super Bowl MVP. And uh, that's what puts him in the uh, top five. So, yeah, he definitely deserves it. Top five in the league, at least. And, yeah, he's a really great receiver. So, yeah, yeah, he deserves S tier. Cortland Sutton, I'm, I'm going to put him in C. I think he deserves um, maybe a bit better. I would put, honestly, I would, let's say he's Jerry Judy. I feel like Jerry Judy is the best on the, in the, league, uh, on the team. So, yeah, I would put Jerry Judy up in B because he's a lot like Amon Ross St. Brown, a young receiver who's blossoming into a great receiver, going to blossom into at least top 10 eventually, maybe top 5 someday. I think he's going to be very good. This Again, this is Jerry Judy. Uh, but when Jerry Judy's healthy, he plays amazing. But he doesn't get a lot of credit. So, yeah, he deserves more credit than he gets. So, yeah, uh, great receiver, and um, I think he's doing well. We've got Darnell Mooney. Just like J uh, Jerry J Judy and Amon Ross St. Brown. Good young receivers. They deserve more credit than they get. Has been very good with the Bears. Been putting up 1,000 yard seasons with Justin Fields who barely throws the football. Definitely deserves to be in this tier. Devontae Adams. He is obviously S tier. He literally put up 1,500 yards. I think at least 15 touchdowns with a new team. That was really bad this year. He was unbelievable this year. Didn't lose a step at all. So he didn't really even need Aaron Rodgers, to be honest. He just all he needed was a quarterback that was somewhat like Aaron Rodgers, you know? Derek was I think he was better. 
DeAndre Hopkins, I would put an A. Everyone's like, why is he not an S? He is made of glass. He has not been really that great lately. He's been average, like not great. So yeah, he, A, honestly, maybe even B, but I'm going to put him in A because I think he's been very good. Debo Samuel, he is an A tier. He gets hurt a lot, but he was very good in 2021. So I think he deserves it when he's healthy. He looks maybe even top five or S tier. I don't know what I'm going to do with S tier. I'm not sure if it, I'm going to do five or more, but yeah, he deserves it. At least A tier. Uh, I think this is Deontay Johnson. I would say he is in B tier. Very um, solid. If I was saying this was George Pickens, I would probably keep him in B tier, tier as well. Uh, definitely deserves it. Good receiver. Very somewhat average. Uh, but yeah, he's great. Uh, he deserves it. DJ Moore, A tier. He's on the pan. Well, he's on the Bears now, but he was on the Panthers for like four years. Put up a thousand yards at least, eleven hundred actually every single year. About ten touchdowns every single year. Revolving door at quarterback, and he's been so great. A really cool dude, and I think he's gonna do well with Chicago. DK Metcalf, another A tier. I would probably put him in B with the production he's had lately, but I think he is so talented. He's still very young, so I'm going to put him in A tier because I know he has the potential to be an extremely elite receiver because he's so big. Drake London, he was good. we have only seen one year, so I'm going to put him in Alan Lazard. He was very good. He didn't win Offensive Player of the Year. I think he was picked a little bit too early. He was picked at 8, but I think the Falcons got a, a stud right there, man. I think he's going to do real good. I think this is Corey Davis, but we're going to say Garrett Wilson because... Corey Davis, I don't even think he's on the Jets anymore. I'm going to say B tier. Garrett Wilson was outstanding. He was really good. One offensive rookie of the year. There weren't really a lot of great uh, candidates, but Garrett had like 1,200 yards, I think 10 touchdowns. He was really good for the Jets, especially he had Zach Wilson at quarterback, who was obviously very bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think he deserves B tier. Just like Jerry du Judy and Amon Ross St. Brown, a young Sud receiver, who's going to be great. Gosh, who the heck is this? All right, let's just say he's Patriot receiver. Patriot receivers right now are not good. They have not been good for a year, for a few years, since Tom Brady left, at least. Uh, Jamar Chase, he is definitely S tier. This one is amazing. He was hurt this year. Still put up like almost 1,200 yards and 10 touchdowns and missed like five or six games. He is incredible. He is amazing. I love this guy. Juju. C. He's not good. I don't think he's like any better than these three guys, to be 100% honest. Uh, but yeah, Juju. Average. He is on the Patriots now. Um, but yeah, I think he's uh, he's okay. He was be way better on the Steelers. Uh, Justin Jefferson. Probably the best in the entire game. Uh, so similar to Jamar Chase. They were teammates, uh, if you didn't know. On the LSU 2019 team. Very good. Um, so yeah. Uh, sadly I wish they were on the same team. That would be really sick. Just like Joe Burrow and Jamar. But anyways. He's a very good receiver. And he has Kirk Cousins as quarterback. So uh, yeah. Um, Keenan Allen. I would say he is A tier. He is, um, he is good. He always puts up good seasons. Very consistent receiver. Very underrated. Never made a Pro Bowl. I have no idea why. I think he was drafting. Wait no. I think he was an undrafted undrafted uh rookie free agent yeah he was pretty sure he was uh and he is really 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 good people don't give him the credit he deserves man this guy is real good and i i really i really like him i think he's a cool dude as well michael Pittman, he is b tier he is honestly better than all of these other guys i don't think he's as good as these dudes maybe better than uh, deandre right now but Pittman is a very solid, elite receiver. Definitely a number one for the Colts. They should be lucky they have this guy, and he has not wanted to trade. Michael Thomas. Honestly, I do not know where to put this guy because he's been injured the past three seasons. But let's say Michael Thomas was Michael Thomas, like his elite self when he won Offensive Rookie of the Year. I mean, not rookie, sorry, Offensive Player of the Year. We're going to put him up here just because he has been very good when he's healthy. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna give uh, him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, healthy Michael Thomas, A tier. 
Mike Evans, A tier at least. Mike Evans is probably the most underrated receiver in the entire league. I could probably almost put him up here. I could probably almost say he's just as good as AJ Brown. But I'm going to put him in uh, tier A because everyone's going to be crying in the comments. Oh my gosh, Mike Evans. He's not as good as these guys. I can maybe agree with that. But he is at least top 10, guys. He's at least top. He, I would say he's like right behind these guys, man. Um, he's so good, man. He is good. I know I'm a Bucks fan, but man, look at his stats. Nine straight seasons of a thousand yards at least. I know this man is good. And he had Jameis Winston as his quarterback for a long time. Uh, I think this is Rashad Bateman. Um, honestly, just like these three guys, like I was talking about, young, promising, um, not rookie, but promising receiver. I think he's going to do really well. Um, but yeah, he has been hurt. Kind of like Michael Thomas. Not three years, but he hasn't really shown uh, a lot uh, yet. But he will be very good, and I know it for a fact. Is this Robert Woods? He's not even on the Titans anymore. But let's say this is Robert Woods. I don't think he, Robert Woods is very... Where did I put Robert Woods? The missed... Oh, here he is. Uh, I would say he is... Oh, I put him in D. Honestly, I don't think he deserves to be that low. I would say C is about at, uh, Al Lazard. Uh, around there, he's good. He was he was good on the Ram. He was good on the Patriots. I'm pretty sure he's on the Patriots. And um, I think he's average. He's around Juju. He's not as good as any of these guys, but I think he is a very solid receiver. We got Stephon Diggs. Yeah, he's uh, S tier. He's been very good, and I think he deserves um, S tier. A uh, very good receiver. Uh, I would uh, Terry McLaurin. Uh, I'm gonna put him in A tier, very similar to Mike Evans. I think Mike's a bit better, but Terry is very, very good, very underrated. Honestly, just like let me think, just like DJ Moore, never really had any good quarterbacks, and he was drafted in 2017. He was drafted in 2018. These guys for the past like four or five years have had no help at all, so they have been doing very well. Tyreek Hill, honestly, him and Jefferson are probably the two best receivers in the entire league. Tyreek Hill was amazing. He put up like 1,700 yards and like, I don't know, 10 touchdowns with a completely new, completely new team, completely new everything, new quarterback. He cycled through quarterbacks when two was hurt. And last guy, um, Giants. Uh, I think this is Sterling Shepard. I'm going to put him in C. Honestly, no one really deserved to be in the D, D column because I don't think really any number one receiver on any of these teams is bad. So I'm going to uh, say they're all at least S through C. So yeah, Sterling Shepard, pretty average, but he was pretty good when he needed to step up. Kenny Galladay would probably say he was B, but uh, I honestly think uh, Sterling was actually a better this season. I think he uh, played really well, and I think he deserves to be here instead of down in the D column. So these are my opinions off of stats and uh, awards like Pro Bowls and you know all pros and stuff and how they performed this year. This is more off of this year. Uh, but yeah, I have, uh, put down in the comments if you guys like my opinions and my rankings. If you guys don't, just let me don't know in the comments. I'm sorry I'm a little bit sick. That's why I sound a little bit weird. But yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day and uh, peace out.